Now, the question of how Nigerians can live together as a united people cropped up again today at a second State of the Federation lecture organized by the Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies in Abuja. Other statesmen and former Minister of Information Edwin Clark, who was the main speaker at the lecture, reckoned that a national conference to review the basis of the Federation was crucial at this time. Chairman and members of the high table would like to welcome you all. The second State of the Federation lecture organized by the Nigerian Institutes of Advanced Legal Studies brought together Nigerians from all walks of life. They came to bear their minds on issues that affect the nation's development. Some of the issues that took center stage include constitutional amendments, corruption and how to ensure good governance. We want people to, to know that we cannot make meaningful progress in this country with corruption. The money that we have been, are being squandered are money that can be diverted into so many other factors, whether it is to build roads, whether it is to build more schools, whether it is to develop our hospitals into world-class hospitals, whether it is to develop more institutions, engage in researches in the universities, and then push this country forward. A lot can be achieved if we're able to make sure that we reduce to a very little and barest minimum. Guest lecturer and elder statesman Chief Edwin Clark in his presentation suggested that a national conference be convened to get input from Nigerians on the proposed constitutional amendments process. According to him, true federalism must be enshrined to attain the needed development. There should be a national conference in this country to discuss and determine the basis of our existence in this country. Having been put together by Lord Lugard in 1914 without consultation, and Nigeria's name being given Nigeria by his fiance, Brother Shaw. Since then, we have never met to discuss the basis of our existence. Other speakers at the forum preferred solutions to reduce corruption at every level. They are of the view that all hands must be on deck to fight the canker worm. In terms of, in terms of addressing corruption, I think it, it is very obvious that this president has taken the bull by it very hard. You know, we are witnessing, you know, a silent revolution in Nigeria today. Insecurity, lack of infrastructure, corruption and lack of good governance are some of the challenges still confronting the nation. But participants at this conference believe that decisive steps can make a change. But Nigeria must remain one. 